Hey guys, so as some of you know, I've been putting together an interesting energy denial team and I've finally got it in a position where I would say it's close to done. So this was, I finished it just in time for the honor finals this week. And so I wanted to run through like how it did and where and how I almost won the honor finals and where I can go from here. So I'm just basically going to play you the six matches that got me all the way to the Honor Finals. And so this is how it ended. I ended up losing in second place. But this is my team, and you can see it. Now the way that this team works is Mulan functions as a dodge tank. Chess, so people miss her and they don't gain energy. Chessia fires her skill, and then they also don't gain energy from being hit and then Freya comes in and steals some of their energy. Now, I went through this a little half or ham-handedly, so I just came in and added some burst heroes to it, so it's not like a full energy denial team, it's more of a hybrid annoying burst team. And so Kurt here has energy because he's designed to help with his silence and like buff everybody else a little bit, and then Themis is hopefully there to add the damage that I'm lacking from the other heroes. So I'm going to play you my six fights. So versus Zimt, here I will be on the uh, the right. So this is my main burst team. By changing up my hybrid burst team, I was able to put Vegvisir back into this team and make it a little bit stronger. Okay, so here is the second fight. I'm going to play this one in 1x speed because I think... I'm not sure what's going on here. Chessia didn't fire until turn two. Oh no, she fired turn one and then she fired again turn two. So basically here, so she fires turn one. Kurt no longer gets energy from getting hit. So Freya comes in and hits him and then he misses his regular attack. So there Kurt has no chance to fire turn two at all. And if he doesn't fire turn two, it's entirely possible that now I can shut him down using Mulan's Silence or Themis's Weaken or Freya's Petrify or Kurt's Silence, etc., etc. to shut him down. As you can see by turn three, he still doesn't have energy. Bale never even got to fire. So that that's how this team is working. And so far, I'd say it's doing pretty good. It's not perfect. But considering that I designed it initially without Kurt as a team to counter Kurt, if you have seen my new PvP tier list, it's basically saying Kurt is required at the highest end meta if you want to have an easier time. So that was me clearing Zimt in the quarterfinals. So here is Milkrease's team. So my biggest burst team will be against his big burst team. This one I don't think we need to see in 1x speed. This one is unfortunately a lot of luck when you're fighting at this level. Because as you can see, it's pretty much a mirror match. The only difference is he has Phoenix and I have Valkyrie. I find Valkyrie to be a little bit better for defense, whereas Phoenix is a little bit stronger on offense. As you can see, I've completely wiped him out by round three. His Kurt never even got to fire. And so my second team, because this is a very strong burst team on its own, a team like this, it will destroy any single Kurt team without even blinking. Versus a double burst team with Kurt and someone else, it, it will have a little bit of a harder time. Depending on luck, because it is a little bit luck based. Anyway, so here it is. This is the finals. This is what really... Oh, I was so close. I've never been this close to winning the finals before. So here what you can see is I lost with my big burst team. Now bold... As we know, Bold has three amazing teams, so this team is another team. It has at least a Kurt, probably two Themises, and a Bale or something like that. I don't know. We'll take a look. But going against my third team, it doesn't take much to win. So here we'll play my... This is the most critical match. If I had won this match, I would have won the finals. And this one, unfortunately, is just 
all luck based. There's, I'm thinking that if I had a Vivian here in my second place, it would have made this team a little bit more reliable and I probably would have had a much better chance at winning. So this is a speed rune Kurt, which unfortunately I've had to change. Now he managed to get a full skill off, but what you can see is that Bale didn't get to fire. And that is what locks me down is crowd control here. So his double Kurt firing silenced my Kurt. If my Kurt had been able to fire here, I probably would have been able to kill Skuld and Themis, and maybe even Bear. As you can also have seen, my Bale was also silenced, and that was it. It was over for me. So because Bold got lucky with a, with a big silence there, the double Kurt really pulled through for him he had a big chance i'm not saying i had a high chance of winning but it was a non-zero chance that i gladly would have bet on so here it is this is the match that i'm very proud of this is how my energy denial burst team worked against his team as you can see it's a very strong team again kurt bale with vegasir azathoth So his Kurt is petrified without energy. His Bale, oh, his Bale got energy. But a lot of people here, if you notice, are missing Mulan with their regular attack and therefore are unable to do anything. Whoa, I don't even know what happened there, actually. Bale, oh, Bale must have lost energy to Freya and then wasn't able to fire because Bale should have fired round two. So there, Kurt fires, has silenced their Kurt. So this Kurt, as you can see, it's round three, and his Kurt still can't fire. And so that's kind of what's so special about this team. And now his Kurt is dead without ever getting to fire a skill. So that is the main goal of this team. And now his Bale is dead, and at this point, you can pretty much say goodnight. Oh, man. I'm so proud of how this team is doing. I'm very happy with it. It's not how I wanted to build it with so much damage, but it's what I ended up with. And now this is a bit of a spoiler, but here is Bold's third team. Oh, he didn't even use Themis in it. So this is obviously a complete wash. Uh, he is going to tear me apart with a team like this against my trash leftover team. But, you know, all I was really aiming for was making a super strong second honor team. And so, oh, actually, I'm doing better than it than I thought. I mean, put a team. Oh, no, there we go. It's done. As expected. But it survived three rounds. Not bad. So that was my closest ever round to the finals. Winning the crucial match, but losing the one that was not the one that I had banked on. This was the one that I had banked on. This one was always pretty much a 50-50, but I came very close to doing it, and I bet on myself because I thought this would be my best ever chance at winning the finals. I didn't win the finals, but you know what? People are realizing how annoying this team is, so my chance is coming. So I, I just wanted to highlight how my team is doing and how just how close it came to winning it all. Uh, that's all for this week. See you guys next time.